thanks for joining me for this solar video. We thought we'd put this together for you because we screwed up and hopefully we can save you from making the same mistake. We've been on our off-grid property for 10 months now and we've been running off of our generator only because we were putting off solar because it's so complicated. We were waiting to make sure that we picked the right components because you can't upgrade them. Once you buy them, you're stuck with them. So we were waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, we ran into a company in an RV convention who opened our eyes to how simple starting solar can be. So we took the plunge. So let's take a look at some of the things we're gonna use solar for, and then we'll show you what we found. Like most RVs, our primary power source is a single deep cycle battery. We rely on that single battery to power the lights, fans, heater, etc. in the trailer. We also power our internet off of this one battery using this Bluetooth enabled inverter. Yeah, we're lazy. We like to be able to turn the internet on and off from bed. For most people who are RV boondocking, that would be the extent of your power needs really. But we've got a few other projects going on. For one, this battery bank we purchased secondhand for a very good value, which will come in handy when we're ready for a bigger solar system, but we're not ready for that today. We do need to keep it topped off though to protect the batteries. We could run our generator to make sure they're topped off, but why not take care of that with solar? So that's something else that we'll be working on. And finally, we just added a filtration system to our new DIY cedar hot tub. So we'll be using solar to power a small pump to clean the tub. So check out what we found. Portable solar power. Duh, right? Well, it's been out there for a long time, I know, but we totally disregarded it because we thought, nah, it's too small. It'll never work. We need something a lot bigger. And we probably do down the road, but for today, not really. This little panel is 12 volts and puts out about seven amps in good sunlight. That means that our generator does not need to run at all. This will keep our RV battery topped off all day long and run our internet too, which is awesome. So let's take a look at some of the features and reason we bought this panel. The first cool feature is the portability. It's built like a suitcase. A couple of hinges, it's got a nice handle for transportation, and it takes about, oh, two minutes or so to set the array up. There's just a couple of aluminum legs. Extend those down, connect your cables, and you have solar. Isn't that easy? We're there and we'll see you in the next video.